Hi, I'm Alfred from Foresight, and what I'm going to do today is show you how to take your visor off, remove the padding, and replace it with new padding. So first off, the visor. What you have to do to remove the visor is lift the visor up to the top of the emblem. It's the top of the Foresight logo there. And what that does is it aligns the mechanisms on the side. Then what you do is you flex the visor gently outwards and pull back. And that takes the visor off the helmet. To put it back onto the helmet is relatively simple. What you do is you line both sides of the visor together, you push in gently and you squeeze forward until the visor is back on the helmet like so. So what we're going to do right now is install our anti-fog. In the future we will have pin lock mechanisms but for now we have a great little anti-fog system which I'll show you how to install. So what you do is you peel your anti-fog part off gently. Be careful, these are really sticky. You want to then flex it inwards and align the top of this with these two mechanisms on the side. Like so. Once you have it in there like that, you want to firmly, quite firmly press down along the whole edge of you have to get it really, really firm so it doesn't grab and make sure that it's on correctly, it doesn't come off. All the way around, just like this. Once you've done that, you want to get this little pull tab here and peel off the anti-fog like that. Give it another push just around the edges, make sure it doesn't grab. So all of our helmets have removable padding from the inside, be it if you want to change the actual thickness and size of the helmet fit, or you just want to remove the padding to, to clean it and get that sweat out of the helmet. Our liners are made of uh, bamboo uh, on the inside. It's antibacterial, so they are really good at absorbing um, sweat and that heat when you go for a ride. So to remove the padding, what you need to do is first of all, gently remove the chin curtain like so. Um, you'll notice on the side here, there's two tabs. These are emergency pull tabs. We probably don't want to pull them to take this out just in case we do have an emergency accident. We want to keep them nice and secure. So we're going to reach in and just unplug the padding like so. And you'll see on the back of the padding itself, some little notches and the measurement of what thickness this padding is. So let's pretend we've got some new padding and we want to put that back in then. What we do is we start at the leading edge at the end. We gently push this back into the helmet just underneath here. Push back in so it's nice and flush. And then what we do is we pull the strap through, we reach in and we press in each of these little dongles and we're good to go. And that's essentially how you change the padding on your Foresight Mark I helmet. There's a few mechanisms on the helmet you need to know about. So just on the side of the helmet here, there is a little latch. And if you push this forward, there's an internal sun visor inside the helmet, as you can see there. Push it back towards the back of the helmet, and that visor is retracted back up into the helmet. One really key mechanism you need to know about are the visor mechanisms on the side. So once again, removing the visor like so. And then on the side, you can see this visor mechanism here. There's actually a little latch just on the edge. If I push that in, the visor mechanism will slide out. Sometimes these can slide out if you take the visor on and off too abruptly or too harshly. To slide it back on, you simply slide it over those two little ridges, make sure the spring is in there, and then click, and then pull that part back. And just like that, you'll be able to put that visor mechanism back onto the helmet if it does come off. So putting the visor back on again, like so, rolling it forward. Now that the visor is back on, we can talk about some vents. So there's two vents at the top, can be controlled by just pushing these backwards and forwards to so open and close them. On the back, you can have an adjustable spoiler. On the front here, there are two vents. To access those vents, it's actually on the underside or the inside of the helmet. You can feel with your fingers two little sliders. 
So you'll be able to open and close those vents from the inside. If you're recording video and you want the minimum amount of wind noise on your voice, I suggest closing those vents before going out for a long ride. And that pretty much sums up all the mechanisms that are on the helmet at the moment. This one's a little bit of a bonus round. I'm gonna clean a helmet and show you how to maintain it correctly. So I've got two products here um, that I picked up from a local store. One is helmet sanitizer. You can never be too unsafe. You shouldn't let other people wear your helmet. Um, and the other one is some Motel wash and wax spray. I've got two types of chamois, one a little bit coarser, one a little bit smoother. So the first thing you do is you wanna shake this. You could apply it onto the, the chamois first, use the thicker one, just give a little spray on the helmet. You can actually like remove the visor so you don't get any of that on the, or in between the uh, anti-fog and just give it a good watch over. You wanna be careful of the camera system just at the front. You don't wanna get polish on that too much because you'll have blurry uh, footage. Just like that. And then hit it again. Another chamois. And especially for carbon fiber, you wanna do this you know, once every couple of months or so. Um, to make sure that grease and stuff doesn't get into the gloss, shiny gloss finish. Matte isn't as bad as this, so there you go. There you go, helmet's all shiny and ready to go. Now to maintain the inside, if you want, you can actually remove these, all the padding from the helmet completely, even the internal liner, like that. You can chuck all of that into the wash um, before you go out on a long ride in the summer. Um, once you've got that all open, you can even remove the speakers from this helmet and get some helmet sanitizer like this, do all the inside, make sure you get all the bacteria off of this uh, internal area here in front of the chin because that's where your mouth is. Um, and you should be able to maintain your helmet for up to two years by doing it like this or even longer actually. So yeah, that's everything you need to do to maintain your new Foresight Mark I helmet. Right. 